This sound will not be heard anymore at a Parma dog park. The park was created by volunteer residents last year in an empty field next to Jerry Stano Park. The dogs had so much fun there. Volunteers initially kept the area clean, but city officials say over time that changed. The volunteers decided that they had enough that they couldn't keep up with the pickup and the cleaning of the park, and when that ended, then it became a health issue for all of us. On Friday, Parma officials took down the fence, closing the dog park for good. In addition to safety concerns for residents, we we're worried about dogs killing other dogs, which has happened at other dog parks. Location was also a concern for officials. One home is only 10 feet away. Most of the other dog parks you'll find are located away from residential neighborhoods, and most, almost every one of them is going to have parking. As you can see, there's not one parking space within 200 feet of here. Kristen and Leah met at the park. They will miss the opportunity to socialize with other residents. It's devastating that they shut that down. It wasn't bothering nobody. It wasn't hurting anyone. It'd be in there, period. Today, the last dog toys were picked up. Due to dogs not being allowed in city parks, area residents will have to travel to other dog parks now. I have to go out to Brunswick now. And it's a good half hour drive to their dog park. This was really a positive thing that the residents attempted to do, but it just didn't work out for the city. For Parma dog owners, that reality is starting to set in. I guess all good things must come to an end. In Parma, Bob Fenner, News Channel 5.